Morning, beloved. Peace be with you. Today, as we celebrate the Annunciation of Archangel, Archangel, Archangel Gabriel to Mary, we are reminded of uh, a good principle to follow for uh, growth in the spiritual life and growth in our relationship with God. And it comes from uh, Mary's response to the angel who is declaring the word of God, God's word to her. She says, may it be done to me according to your word. And this actually we see from our second reading today in Hebrews is following the example of Jesus. The author is quoting some Old Testament scriptures here as well. But just notice um, this, these, this line that the author puts on the lips of Jesus. Um, a sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. And holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. And then I said, as is written of me in the scroll. As is written of me in the scroll. So the word of God is written down in the scroll. Behold, as it is written of me in the scroll, I come to do your will. In other, in other words, okay, just as it's written, let it be done. Mary's doing the same thing. Okay, here's your word. It's not written, now it's spoken. Well, let it be done unto me. Uh, and this is really the only way that God's will gets accomplished or that the word of God becomes flesh in our lives, whether that word is written or spoken. It only becomes flesh in our lives and real in our lives when we say yes, when we give our consent. Let it be done unto me according to your will. The, God's will is only done in our lives personally when we give our consent. Um, God's will is done in the world in different creatures and done in the world in the physical realm in the spiritual realm as far as physical and spiritual laws happen like we have the physical law of gravity that's happening whether we consent to it or not but God's will is only done in creatures that have a soul that have a will when we when they consent and so that's what God God wants his will done in our lives but he needs us to consent he will never trespass against us one of the beautiful ways or practices or devotions we can have to continue to grow and get the word of God becoming flesh in our lives is simply as you are reading the scriptures in your daily, daily readings and you come across something, you're like, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I wish, I wish, I wish that was in my life. Well, why not? As soon as you read something like that and it stands out to you or it highlights, just repeat this prayer of Mary. May it be done unto me according to your word. What I've just read, Lord, let that be done unto me. This is beautiful, especially in the New Testament, the letters, St. Paul, the other epistles, the other letters, James and Peter and John. Especially Paul is always starting off with blessings. He's always blessing the, the audience or the people he's writing to, which means if we're reading it, and then he's writing to us, so he's trying to bless us too. He'll say, you know, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Or may grace to you and peace from our Lord Jesus Christ. And you just simply begin to read these blessings like, yeah, boy, I could use a little extra peace today in my life. Let it be done unto me according to your word. And let that just become your prayer and I don't mean prayer just as a one-time statement, but let it really be a prayer in the sense of prayer as conversation with God. Let that be your conversation with God all day long. Lord, let your, let your peace be done in my life according to your word. Just as it's written, you want it in my life and I want it in my life, let it be done. Let it be done unto me according to your word. So I encourage you today, find something in the scriptures that you really like that stands out to you, even if it's just reading something in the lives of, of Jesus or in the lives of the, the apostles, through, in the Acts of the Apostles, once they're filled with the Holy Spirit. You're like, boy, I wish I, wish I could do that. I wish I could, you know, tell some paralyzed guy to get up and walk and it would happen. Well, just say, Lord, let this word be done unto me. Let it be done unto me according to your word. You know, Jesus has given a lot of promises. If we believe, we lay hands on the sick, they will recover. Okay, Lord, thank you that your word is true, that you are faithful. Let it be done unto me according to your word. When I lay hands on the sick, let them recover as your word has said. You know, just start consenting more consciously to the word of God and see uh, what kind of difference that makes in your life.